Did you guys know that it was possible for toys to be banned? Because I didn't until recently. And let me tell you, once I found this out, I became fascinated with the idea of it. Like, why were they banned? Did I have any of these toys growing up? One night, I decided to just look on eBay, Mercari, any type of websites that people could resell used items. And I was actually able to purchase some of them so that I could unbox them today with you guys and talk about all of the horror stories and craziness that goes along with each and every one of these. I will tell you right now, these were not cheap. Most of these have been banned for years and years and years, if not decades. I purchased five different banned toys and we're going to be going through them together. So hopefully you guys find this video interesting. I thought it was very appropriate to do this video right now around the holidays because everyone's buying toys right now for Christmas, obviously. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So first I'm just going to give you guys a little overview and show you the five toys that I purchased to talk about in this video. First up, we have the Easy Bake Oven. Then we have the Pregnant Barbie Doll. Yes, you heard me correctly. The Snack Time Cabbage Patch Kids doll. That's probably my favorite. Clackers, which literally were around in the 1960s. And last but not least, we have Sky Dancers. So we are going to start off with the Easy Bake Oven because I actually had this exact one when I was a kid. Like, I still remember getting it for Christmas. I remember what the cakes tasted like after you would bake them. Like, I literally had this. Unfortunately, I did have to order this from someone else and um, I believe it was used. Yeah, it was definitely used. It's all taped up, but we are going to open this and then we're gonna talk about why this was banned, okay? I just, I cannot believe that I have this in my possession again. I'm gonna try to find a release date on the box. Let's see, this came out in 2003. So that means I was four years old and this was like a hot toy when I was a little kid. Everyone wanted one for Christmas because the idea is you can literally bake your own mini cakes. Like this is not a toy oven, it's a real oven. And as you could probably assume, that was the reason why this ended up being banned. So, okay, let's see. Oh boy, hopefully this isn't disgusting. Like I said, this was supposedly lightly used and like new, but we shall see. Whoa, okay. Oh wow, this is crazy. Ew, it's kind of dirty. I don't know how well you guys could see that. It's probably not picking up on camera very well, but basically you plug this in. I'm not going to do that because we're not baking anything, but I believe I remember reading that this thing actually gets up to 350 degrees, which if you think about it, like, yes, that is dangerous if someone like, you know, little four-year-old me was playing with it unsupervised. Um, thankfully, you know, I was supervised when I used this, so nothing bad ever happened to me, but oh my gosh, I remember this thing. So this is the little spatula that you would put in the oven to take out your little mini cakes. It doesn't look like these were used, interestingly enough. Um, but these little metal pans are what you put the cake mixture into. And I remember these were like the little mixing bowls. Yeah, this does not come with any cake. Even though obviously I could not use an expired pack of cake mix, I low-key wish that there would be one in here just because I would want to see what it smells like. Does it still have that cakey smell? Um, I know that stays good for a while. So as you can imagine, the reason that this was pulled from shelves is because kids were getting very severe burns while using this. And there were even multiple cases where they even had to get their fingers amputated because they would put their hand in there. I'm not going to do it, even though it's not on I just, it freaks me out because I was obsessively reading these stories. Cause again, I find this so interesting. Um, but yeah, there were lots of stories of kids putting their hand inside of the oven. I mean, I could see why, you know, if you're a little kid, it looks like a perfect fit for a hand. Um, and then, you know, they don't realize how hot it is. There was also a story of a girl who literally couldn't get her hand out of the oven and she had to go to the emergency room literally with it still on her hand. They had to use a big metal saw to free her hand. And unfortunately, she also had to get some fingers amputated. So this is no joke. I still think the idea of this is really fun. However, I'm gonna see if it says anywhere on the box, like what ages this is for. Um, I'm just kind of curious. 
Okay, it says age is eight and up. Obviously though, not every parrot is going to listen to that. I do agree eight years old is probably a good age where, you know, kids would understand the danger of like, you know, don't put your hand into a hot oven. However, like I said, um, not every parent will listen to that. And also not every parent stands there and supervises their kids like they should. So that is why this item is discontinued. It's pretty crazy to think about all of those stories. Because again, I had one of these and I am very thankful. Nothing like that happened to me. But who would have ever guessed? I still remember this picture so well of that girl. And oh my gosh, the little cookie and cake creations always looked so good and I actually remember them tasting pretty good. If I'm able to find the video clip of me opening my Easy Bake Oven for Christmas years and years and years ago, I will insert that here. Oh. Easy Bake Oven! <laughs> oh my goodness! Santa must have known. You told him you wanted that. Wow, Kayla! Good job, Kayla. You made cookies in it. Okay, the big ones. Wow. Let's go out to Daniel with food. Let me know what your thoughts are about the Easy Bake Oven. Do you think that they were overreacting and this should still be in stores? Do you think that it's crazy that it was ever available? Just let me know your thoughts. So I'm going to put this off to the side and we are going to move on to the second band toy that I purchased for this video, which is the Snack Time Cabbage Patch Kids doll. You don't even wanna know how much I paid for this. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. Um, but I was willing to pay it because this is brand new and a lot of the ones that people were selling were used and I wanted one that was brand spanking new. And in my opinion, this one is by far the creepiest, the most disturbing. This thing is actually dangerous and I'm not just saying this, but I'm actually a little nervous to put batteries in it. So first of all, let's just take a look at the box, right? It was expensive and it's so cool, just like the presentation. Um, you could tell this is very old. It came out in 1995. I wasn't even born yet. This is so vintage. So look at the back. You could even just tell by the back. We're going to proceed with caution. And also I went to Target before filming this and I bought some batteries because this does require batteries. Hopefully it's not too old for the batteries to work. I don't know if that's a thing. Like, can toys get too old for brand new batteries not to work in it? I don't know. Hopefully not. I'm so excited. And I know right now I'm kind of gatekeeping information from you about why this was so dangerous. Um, but before I explain it to you, I want you guys to try to guess. Why do you think a Feed Me Cabbage Patch Kids doll was pulled from shelves? Like... How many years ago was that? Over 25 years ago. Um, see if you could predict before I tell you. Maybe when you get a closer look at the doll, you'll be able to tell. Oh, this is so freaky. I was just thinking, like, I think it's crazy how someone had this, like, stored in their house, just completely unopened. Um, and I was thinking, like, why, why would someone buy a doll just to not open it. I'm thinking one of two things. Either A, they collected Cabbage Patch dolls and they didn't take them out of the packaging, or B, it's because they heard about how dangerous this was and so they just never opened it. They never gave it as a gift. Um, they never gave it to their kid, whatever. I cannot believe this, dude. Uh, it's just, it's weird to be looking at it this close because when I tell you I have done extensive research on all of these, I think this stuff is so fascinating. Ah! Oh my gosh, I'm scared. So here she is in all her glory. I don't know what her name is. Let's see. It's, oh, Sheila Sabrina. And her birthday is January 1st. So here's the instructions. <laughs> you guys could probably see where this is going. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's so weird. Okay, so you feed this doll. Like you, you literally put food into her mouth. And the suction is so powerful. The food literally goes into her body and it comes out of her back, I guess, into her little backpack. And then you have to like shake it to get the food out. Oh my gosh, where'd the batteries go in? Replace batteries when chewing becomes too slow. Does this never shut off? I thought I remembered reading that, but I thought there's no way. Like, again, guys, I, I did a lot of research and 
I remember reading an article that said you can't stop it from chewing. There was like not an off switch. So are you telling me that when I put batteries into this doll, it's just gonna keep moving its mouth? Oh my God. All right, we gotta get her out of here. We gotta get her out of this prison. Oh my gosh, it's been such a long time since I've had to unfasten these little, uh, what do you call these? I don't know, twisty wire thingy majiggies. Oh wow, this brings back so many memories. Literally, these remind me of Christmas morning when I was a kid because that's how all toys were kept in place if it came in a display box like this. Oh my gosh, wow, there's a lot of them. I remember they would always be so frustrating to me. I'm gonna set her free and once she's out of this box, we are literally going to unleash the beast and I'm gonna tell you a whole lot of horror stories. And hopefully by me doing this, I won't be adding to those horror stories cause it's pretty intense guys. I am not gonna lie. Maybe this is a bad idea. It's a bad idea, right? Opening this doll tonight. It's a bad idea, right? I think we freed her guys. Oh my gosh, finally. Ah! Okay, she still has like a wire. Psst. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is crazy. There's so many wires. Let me just get this out of her poor head. Oh, was that supposed to be there? Cause now her hair is all weird. Okay, no, this is supposed to come out. Her hair is not supposed to be in pigtails. It's supposed to come down. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is really what her hair is supposed to look like. She probably feels so much relief right now. Imagine having your hair tied up since 1995. Like, girl, she's literally getting bald spots. Do you see that? That's what happens when you wear your hair up too much. Take it from me, I had to learn the hard way. Oh my gosh, her hair is coming out. Oh wait, oh my gosh, hang on. That smell, you literally cannot create that smell. That smell smells like a really, really, really old person's basement. Like, or just house in general, but specifically basement. You can tell that this doll was sitting in some older individual's basement for decades, like literally almost three decades. Here she is, Sheila is free and now, <laughs> We are going to put batteries in her. And now we are going to take out the food. Let's see what fun snacks she comes with. All right, we have quite the mix of skinny little random snacks. We, oh, okay. We have the strangest looking banana I've ever seen in my life. We have what I believe is a celery stick, a piece of licorice, a strawberry wafer cookie, a carrot stick, a pretzel stick, and a uh, wavy french fry. Cool. Um, oh my god, this poor child. She, dude, she's still got wires everywhere. Oh good gosh. All right, and then this? Hold on, I gotta figure this out. What the crap? I was reading the instructions and this, this right here is her yellow backpack that her food is supposed to go into. Oh wait, I get it, I get it. Okay, so you feed her, it goes literally into that scary mouth of hers. And then, okay, look. Well, this is high tech. You lift this little cape up and this acts as a funnel. It goes into her back. Oh, good Lord. And then she wears it like a backpack. Oh my gosh. Okay, so like, I know this is kind of weird to say, but initially, like when I bought this, I assumed she would like, you know, poop it out. Cause I had dolls when I was little where you would like, you know, feed them water and it would just go right through them and they would pee it out. But no, she eats and the food comes out of her back. Not her back end, not her backside, her literal back. Okay, got it. Now we gotta get the batteries. Here's the batteries. I'm scared because apparently this thing doesn't shut off. I'm gonna take off her little name tag. We know her name. Where's the battery pack? Where do you put the batteries in? Remove costume to access battery box. So now I have to strip her? I gotta take off all her clothes to find the stinking battery box? Okay, this one is a lot. This toy is a lot. You literally have to take off her whole outfit to access the battery box. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to get her outfit off. This one is a process. And once we start feeding her again, guys, I will begin telling you the horror stories that I read about with this. I mean, you could probably use your imagination with this one, but on the instructions, it looks like it's under her arm. I'm glad I looked at the instructions. So, whoo, okay. This is where the battery box is. 
This is so bizarre. It's crazy to think that like this, this doll was created when I wasn't even a thought yet. Like I was not even in the womb. I was just nothing. Okay, there's the battery box. It's like skin colored and everything. Um, I also got the handy dandy tool kit, screwdriver kit before I started filming because I knew that I would need to pause and go get it if I didn't do it beforehand. I have no idea which attachment's gonna be right. I, I don't know, I have no idea. I feel like a surgeon right now. I feel like I'm playing <laughs> operation. Woo! All right, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh my gosh, what if like as soon as I plop these in here, she starts chewing, I will probably cry. Because she does not have an off switch. Like, in case you forgot, that was one of the main reasons this was banned. Apparently, you cannot shut her off because it says uh, once her chewing starts to slow down, replace the batteries. Like, I have candles in my house, fake candles that, like, they just, they're on forever um, and you can't shut them off. And they just run out of batteries eventually and then you change the batteries. How do you activate her? Because the batteries are in there. I feel like, you know, if there's no on switch, is she just supposed to start up i think you need to feed her first okay okay before i dress her i'm just gonna test this with the licorice okay i'm so scared oh oh it's really hard to get back okay i must have put the batteries in wrong or something let me let me see a few moments later okay guys so uh, I put the batteries in correctly. I like triple checked everything. I'm about to put her backpack on again. This looks so wrong. I just, I don't know, this is weird. Okay, maybe it wasn't working before because I had the batteries in incorrectly. I don't know, hopefully that's the case because I did everything the way I was supposed to and that is the correct type of batteries. So, whoo, fingers crossed, guys. Please pause the video and comment the fingers crossed emoji, like double the fingers crossed emojis because whew, I really hope this works. I spent so much money on this. So, let's go for a carrot stick. Ready? Carrot stick going in. It's not working. I'm so disappointed. Why is this not working? Oh my gosh, I can't get it back. That's so creepy. I'm so disappointed. I, I'm not sure. Maybe, like I said, the item's just too old. I don't know. It's a shame. Um, but basically, if the batteries were working, what's supposed to happen is you feed it and the doll literally sucks it into its mouth. And let's see, I don't want to like cause a jam, but I'm going to try to get it all the way in there. And we're going to see if it comes out of the backpack. I hope I didn't just break it. I very well could have. Oh wait, no, I just, I heard it come out into the backpack. You see that? So technically you could still get it to eat. Um, but basically, as you could probably assume, this was banned because kids were getting their fingers stuck in the doll. Like imagine, I'm actually not gonna do it even though the batteries aren't working. Let's say they magically start to work. Um, that would be terrifying. Kids were putting their fingers in her mouth and the chewing never stops. Like there's not an off button. So imagine like right now, I put my finger in there and it wouldn't stop chewing and I literally couldn't do anything to stop it. You'd literally have to go to the hospital and they would have to like cut this thing apart to hopefully free your finger. Another thing that was happening is girls were getting their hair stuck in its mouth. I mean, I could imagine that um, if, you know, you're a little kid and you're bored and you're just like, hey, you want some hair? Uh, honestly, I could see me doing something like that when I was a kid. I was reading a horror story about that. And apparently, you know, the girl put her hair into the doll's mouth and it wouldn't stop chewing. So it went all the way up to her scalp and her parents couldn't even cut her hair because the doll was sucking everything up and her mouth was attached to her scalp. And so I, I honestly don't know how they ended up getting it off. I don't think they were able to do it at home. They had to go to the ER. Um, so it's just crazy. This is definitely a very scary toy, in my opinion. Just for funsies, I'm gonna try to feed her this banana. Wait, but how in the world is like, the bottom half supposed to fit into her mouth. Like, what? There's no way. Yeah, it, it won't. I don't... What the heck? Oh! Oh, okay! Ah! Why is this funny to me? I guess that makes sense. You're not supposed to eat the banana peel, but... All right, give it back to me. Give it back! 
Oh my god, that was kind of scary. All right, I am done with Miss Sheila. She is freaky. Personally, I think it's more understandable why this got banned. You can't shut off the suction when it's eating something. I know, sadly, I couldn't show that to you guys. I promise. I literally paused filming and tried putting in the batteries 10,000 different ways. And I did buy the exact batteries that they say to buy. So I don't know. It's probably just because the item's really old. Um, but yeah, you can't shut it off when it's eating. Fingers, hair, other body parts could get stuck in the mouth. Pretty scary stuff. So yeah, I think this is the most crazy one, but maybe you guys will disagree with me because we still have three more band toys to go through. The next item is even older than that Cabbage Patch Kids doll. These are called clacker balls and these were super popular in the 1960s. Like that's a long time ago. I can't believe I actually found these in the original packaging. Look at this. You could just tell like this does not look like what kids toys look like nowadays. Just look at the packaging. I feel like nowadays the packaging for kids toys are just so extreme over the top crazy. Um, yeah, it just says clackers, America's newest craze. And then it gives you instructions on the back. So very basic. I paid a lot of money for these two. So I low-key kind of want to try to keep the packaging nice. I don't know if that's going to be possible, honestly, but I'm going to try. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I don't know why the heck I smelled them. They smell very dusty. Um, so this is what they look like. You'd be surprised to know that these are not made out of plastic. They are actually made out of a certain type of glass, which, yeah, you're probably already starting to figure out why these were banned. I mean, they are called clackers and you're supposed to, wait, hang on, there are instructions. Let me try to use these correctly. Okay, to operate the clackers, grasp the ring with your thumb, okay, your thumb and index finger and check that the two colored balls are horizontal to one another. Are they horizontal? Okay, I think they're horizontal. Is this right? I have no idea. This is very important. Next. When grasping the ring, raise and lower your hand and arm, causing the two balls to bounce off of each other. As you can see with practice, the balls form a larger arc. Okay, I, I don't know. I'm probably not gonna be any good at this. Okay, sorry. I think it's supposed to be like, uh, maybe I should watch a video on this first. This is embarrassing. Oh my gosh, how are you supposed to do this? Oh wait, I kind of did it for a second. I think this is like a skill low key. All right, I'm gonna look up a video of this. Clackers from the 1970s. Okay, so that's what they're supposed to do. I don't know how we got to that point. I think you kind of twist it and then Basically though, the reason that these were banned is because these are actually made out of a certain type of glass. And what would happen is kids would play with these and they would break, like they would shatter. And obviously it's very dangerous to have broken glass everywhere. But on top of that, whatever specifically is used to make these, if it breaks and you breathe it in, it's apparently very toxic. Um, and also it would hit kids in the face and it would come back and hit you really hard on the wrist. Like this is supposed to be way more intense than what you're seeing from me right now. I obviously don't know how to use them. I think it is like a skill you have to learn. People were suffering very serious injuries from these. And I mean, honestly, I could see that if one comes up and hits you in the face or the tooth, oh my God, that'd be a nightmare. Or even, you know, in the wrist. This was the most vintage band toy that I purchased. Let me know guys, would you wanna try clackers? Yes or no? And do you think you'd be good at it? I sucked at it, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but hey, at least I could say I tried. Now we're going to move on to band toy number four. This is a Sky Dancer, and I believe they created a new variant of this in recent years, but they obviously must have perfected the way they made it to make it less dangerous. I don't know. But all I know is that this one that I bought came out in the very early 2000s. We are going to open it, but on the back, as you could see, basically there is a little lever, and I think you might pull something, and the Sky Dancer is supposed to twirl around in circles and go all over the place. Uh, you guys may have seen the viral video going around. It's not viral anymore, but it was. Basically a little girl got one of them for Christmas and while the doll was spiraling out of control, it landed in the fireplace and 
a poor girl. That must have been so sad for her. But these are much more dangerous than you would have ever expected because there have been hundreds of reports of kids needing to get stitches from being cut deeply by the wings on these things. There were also stories where kids got like a scratch on their cornea, which is part of your eyeball, and it caused temporary or permanent blindness, mild concussions. I read all sorts of things. Like it seems like it's so hard to believe because it's a plastic kid's toy. As I was reading more, there are ways to like over use the lever. This reminds me of a lawnmower, like where you have to go, ooh, 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 ooh. If you pull that little lever back too many times, it can, uh, it can take someone's eyeball out essentially. So we're not gonna do that today. This also comes with a DVD. I don't even have a DVD player, but if I did, that'd be interesting to watch. Okay, I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of nervous guys. So I do know you are not supposed to launch this off very close to your face. Oh God, ah, I'm scared. No, oh God, am I doing this right? Get out of here! Fly away! Fly away! Fly away! I'm gonna read the instructions. Turn doll's head forward. Oh, I didn't know that. Forward. I didn't know that. Her head was turned to the side. Now her head is forward. So for best flying, you're supposed to do that, which I didn't do at first. All right, we're gonna try this again. Ah! All right, this is actually... I'm not kidding. This is kind of scary. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one. Why is, why does she not want to leave? Oh gosh, it's just, you guys probably think I'm overreacting, but after the stories I've read, I'm gonna do it one more time. Cause like that is, that is kind of fun. Third time's a charm. Hopefully I won't regret this. Okay, that's, that's cool. Could you believe this toy literally caused people temporary blindness, mild concussions, facial lacerations that required stitches, and many more serious injuries. Comment below, have you guys ever had a Sky Dancer? Would you want a Sky Dancer? Let me know your thoughts down below. But we are going to set that aside and now we will be moving on to the fifth and final toy, which is the pregnant Barbie doll. So I have a lot of mixed opinions on this. First, let's just take a minute to look at the packaging, look at the display. Um, I think this is really cool. This doll, by the way, it came out in the year 2002. Wow, I bet a lot of you guys watching were not even born yet. So this is over 20 years old. I'm not sure how long it was available before it got banned, but it looks like it comes with all kinds of baby changing table items. It says it's a girl. I wonder if all of them were different. Like it's a girl, it's a boy. I wonder if they switched that up or not. It also comes with a three-in-one crib, table and cradle. Oh my gosh, I kid you not. I don't think I ever had this pregnant Barbie as a kid. Or did I? Come to think of it, I swear guys, I'm having an intense flashback. I think my grandma might have had this. But anyway, what I was going to say is I definitely had this three-in-one little crib, table, and cradle thing. Um, I don't know if this exclusively comes with the pregnant Barbie or if you could have got it separately. I'm not sure, but I definitely had that as a kid. Basically, it just comes with that little baby and it comes with the pregnant Barbie. So I think I could be wrong. We're going to open this even though I don't want to because it looks so cool in the box, but I'm pretty sure you could put the little baby inside of her stomach. Like you could take it in and out. On the back it says, this is my favorite picture of Alan and me on our wedding day. That was the start of our wonderful family. Ryan is our firstborn child. He's three years old now. Alan and Ryan like to go to the park for picnics. Ryan likes to visit baby Dr. Barbie with me. Ryan can't wait until the day arrives when we can bring his new little sister home. We haven't decided on a name yet. What would you name her? Today we are going to bring the baby to Dr. Barbie for the first checkup. She's our best friend. And that's how we became a happy, loving family. Wow. The three-year-old son and the husband, those aren't, that's not real. I don't know if you can tell or not, but they are like cardboard. They're not real. So personally, in my opinion, I don't think that this is the worst thing that kids could play with. Obviously, I understand, you know, why people would think that it is inappropriate. 
Um, let me open it and we're going to get a better feel for it. And then I'll tell you guys more about my opinions because there was no danger with this. Like, I feel like the difference between this band toy and the other band toys is that there was no real danger, no threat with this. Like, it's not going to put anyone's safety at risk. So this is what she looks like out of the box. I literally don't want to take her out. Do I have to take her out? I don't need to take her out for you guys to see this. So you literally lift up her like dress and look. Uh, uh, the, the belly came off okay so you can put the baby that it comes with you could easily put the baby in there okay maybe i can see why this was banned that's neat though it's like it's magnetic because it just snapped right into place i don't want to take her out of the box i think this is really really cool so i want to kind of try to keep the display together so my personal thoughts and feelings on this are hmm maybe it is a little much how you can take the belly off and put a baby in there and then take it out like that could bring up a lot of questions so in my eyes that's why they banned it um however again i think that kids could be playing with a lot worse most kids do end up having a sibling though or they have like an aunt that is pregnant or they see random people in public that are pregnant it's not like it's a forbidden topic it's life you know it's amazing but I think maybe it's introducing ideas too early to kids, if that makes sense. I don't think this is the worst one. I think it's pretty innocent unless you make it not innocent. Those are my final thoughts, feelings, opinions. Let me know what yours are in the comments below. Random, but this is kind of cool. Okay, so I have a Barbie sweater on. I have a Barbie phone case that says Kayla in Barbie text and then Barbie, literally look triple barbie anyways you guys i'm going to wrap up this video here i really hope that you enjoyed watching this if you did then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and the golden question of the day is which toy from this video did you find the most interesting like which one intrigued you the most do you agree or disagree with the fact that these toys were banned i just want to hear all of your thoughts in the comments below and i will do my best to respond back to as many of you guys as possible Let's have a conversation because this is super interesting to me. But anyways, I'm going to get going now. I love you guys so, so much. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Mwah. Oh, one more question. If you could receive any one of these banned toys for Christmas, which one would you choose? Let me know down below.